It was an evening filled with glitz and glamour as celebs walked the green carpet at the premiere of the winning film Spirit of Adventure in the Trigger Street Productions Presents Jemison First Shot short film competition on the weekend. Dressed to the nines and looking gorgeous, celebs including Dr. John Carney, Josh and Zareda Jardine Lindbergh, as well as the dazzling Lindy Wissatel, were at the iconic Turbine Hall in Johannesburg in support of the local film industry and to celebrate with Ellen Shelley, who together with two other filmmakers beat out over 700 entrants worldwide to have their short film produced in Los Angeles and have Hollywood legend Kevin Spacey in the lead role. The two-time Academy Award-winning superstar had nothing but praise for Cape Town's Shelley. Well, it wasn't just the script and it wasn't just uh, the idea of doing this particular film. It's, it's, it's a combination of things. It's about the filmmaker. It's about the sensibility of the filmmaker. It's about whether you think that if you bring them to Los Angeles and put them in front of a professional crew, are they going to be able to measure up and, and complete the job? Um, and also, it was you're looking at, we were doing three films because we were in three different uh, territories. So we had uh, lots of entries from Russia, lots of entries from the United States, and trying to find three films that offered different things that were maybe different tonally, uh, that offered me different parts so that directors could really direct me. Uh, and I think we found a really nice balance because each of the films is very different uh, and very unique. But uh, Alan, we just liked Alan a lot and uh, we liked his video log that he did. Uh, we also had had a chance to see some of his previous work. You know, he won an award for his PSA that he did. and So we, we thought it was a, a re really good idea. Shelley said he was thrilled over the experience and would continue to teach what he has learned from Spacey. I've, I've learned a hell of a lot. I've learned, uh, I've learned a lot as a director. Uh, I've learned a lot as a writer, um, as a f um, as general filmmaker. Um, uh, I've learned a lot about how Hollywood works, the sort of, you know, how the unions over there sort of uh, affect everything. It's very different from how it works here. So, yeah, I've learned, I've learned a huge amount. We're here to support, to say it's time South Africa and South Africans take our own work very serious, support and appreciate. We need to have a South African film industry that's first supported by us, then it has an opportunity to make an impact abroad. We need our cinemas, our theatres chock a block because we have the stars in this country. We are making an impact with Tsotsi, with uh, District 9, with Nothing But The Truth, with today's movie. We're there. All we need is massive support from our own people to crack the international industry. Well, I got a sneak peek. <laughs> so I think people should expect to see a movie that, in terms of the quality um, of filmmaking, is right up there with the best in Hollywood. Um, in terms of the, the writing and the directing, it's an international film, like any other international film. But what's great about it, it's written by a South African and directed by a South African. I think we need collaborations like these. I mean, there's such an incredible talent that we have in South Africa from all aspects of, um, of the arts, if we really think about it. I mean, from fashion design to film to actual artists that we actually have here, there is really a need to actually get this talent on a global scale. So these collaborations are so, so needed. So if you're out there, yes, please, come to South Africa, come see the amazing talent that we have, because it's really, it's necessary, it's necessary.